one verse of scripture. Je veux partager un verset de l'écriture. All right. Please, please. S'il vous plaît, s'il vous plaît. I know you are excited. Je sais que vous êtes excités. We are all excited. Nous sommes tous très excités. Um, from my little book here, the good general. Du, de mon livre, le bon général. First Corinthians 15:58. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. And the chapter of the book is chapter 8, Selection and Maintenance of the Aim. Et c'est le chapitre 15 du livre, si vous avez un bon général. Maintenance of the Aim. Maintenir l'objectif. Maintaining your aim, your Ma goal. Maintenir votre objectif. Is one of the top principles for fighting. C'est un des grands principes pour le combat, wars. pour gagner un combat. And it is taught as the number one principle. Et c'est enseigné comme le premier principe. In the British army, dans l'armée britannique, the US army, Chinese army, Russian army is to select your aim and toutes, maintain the aim. Toutes les grandes armées enseignent de sélectionner l'objectif et de le maintenir. Amen. Select your aim. Choisir and maintain your aim. L'objectif est le maintenir. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. So, we as a church nous en tant qu'église have to select our aim nous devons sélectionner notre objectif we are the army of the lord nous sommes l'armée de dieu what is our aim quel est notre objectif we cannot define our own aims nous ne pouvons définir notre our propre aim objectif is the aim that is given to us by jesus notre objectif est celui qui a été donné par jésus go into the world va dans le monde Preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. De Jesus Christ. He, whoever believes croit and is baptized et est baptisé shall be saved. Sera sauvé. He that believeth not Celui qui ne croit pas shall be damned. Sera condamné. So the church of Jesus Christ, Donc, de Jesus Christ must maintain its aim doit maintenir son objectif of preaching de prêcher the gospel not preaching a social works pas agenda. Les œuvres sociaux. Not trying to impress anybody. Pas pour uh, impressionner qui que ce soit. Not trying to woo support. Pas pour gagner le sou gagner un but soutien. To please the one who gave us the work to do. Mais de plaire à celui qui nous a donné le travail. His name is Jesus. Il s'appelle Jésus. I said his name is Jesus. Il s'appelle Jésus. And Jesus said, Et Jésus a dit, I will build my church. Je bâtirai mon église. And the gates of hell will not prevail against Et it. Les, so les portes it is, de l'enfer ne prévaudront pas. The church le devoir de l'église to build churches. De bâtir des églises. And that's what we are doing. Et c'est ce que nous faisons. And that's what must be burning in the hearts of all who are in the ministry. Et c'est ce qui doit brûler dans le cœur de tout le monde qui est dans le ministère. And all who are preaching the word of God. Et tous ceux qui prêchent la parole de Dieu. So today, donc aujourd'hui, even as we open this little museum, alors qu'on ouvre ce petit musée, there are people there, il y a des gens là-bas who maintain the aim of the church. Qui ont maintenu l'objectif de l'église. Traveling, ils ont voyagé. Preaching, ils prêchaient. Giving up their lives, ils ont donné leur vie. For what they believed, pour ce en quoi ils croyaient. What was written in the Word of God, ce qui était écrit dans la parole de Dieu. It is when we keep on moving away from the aim, c'est lorsqu'on on s'éloigne de l'objectif, the agenda, de l'agenda that we have, 
que nous avons that is when the church loses the power c'est là où l'église perd son pouvoir to influence and ça, loses the power to change the world sa capacité à changer le monde when a religion quand une religion becomes like a political movement devient comme un mouvement politique or becomes just a social social works group ou devient un groupe des œuvres sociaux loses il the perd. aim and loses the power il perd l'objectif et la puissance yes. and it's, it's a number one principle et c'est le premier principe for war select your guerre. aim and maintain your aim sélectionne Don't ton change objectif it. et le maintenir ne le change pas it is the reason c'est la raison for instance in my book i give the illustration that is the reason why hitler lost the war et dans le livre je in donne l'exemple c'est la raison pour laquelle hitler a perdu la because guerre because he stated that his aim was to get more living space germany parce qu'il a dit que son objectif était de gagner plus de territoire pour le pays allemagne and he achieved that et il a accompli very quickly il a accompli très vite when he took ukraine quand il a pris l'ukraine some of those places et certains de ces pays he had achieved his aim il what he said he was actually aiming for accompli ce qu'il voulait then he decided to go further après il a décidé d'aller plus loin and take up moscow et aller prendre moscou and stalingrad et stalingrad and that was his undoing et c'est ce qui a fait sa défaite and that is why c'est pourquoi in the war dans la guerre the main thing lo, la chose principale is to maintain the aim c'est de maintenir l'objectif maintain the, maintenir God, the church's duty quel est le devoir de l'église is not to provide water n'est pas de fournir l'eau the ministry of water works ça c'est le travail du ministre works and housing is here de, 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 it is his job maisons. to provide us with water et <laughs> i think he's here today so il est ici aujourd'hui maintain the aim maintenir l'objectif yes oui we try to help but it oh. is your job to, to oui. provide on essaye water. on essaye d'aider mais c'est votre travail governments come les gouvernements viennent the aims that are stated et les objectifs qui sont écrits are lofty aims great aims sont des grands uh, objectifs the, key, the master key mais la clé maîtresse the war de, pour gagner la guerre is to maintain the aim c'est de maintenir l'objectif maintain the aim maintenir l'objectif and so the church must maintain its aim donc l'église doit maintenir son objectif It's not the church's duty to provide electricity. Ce n'est pas le devoir de l'église de fournir l'électricité. It's the ministry of works and housing Donc, that is supposed to C'est aussi le ministre ministère des energy, des ministry of energy. Ministre, le ministère de l'énergie. There is no institution yeah. that has been charged with preaching the gospel. Yeah, okay. Only the church. Institution so qui we a have été... to maintain the aim of being preachers. Nous devons maintenir l'objectif d'être des prédicateurs et des bâtisseurs d'églises so et des évangélistes et des gagnants d'âme. That is why this school, C'est pourquoi this cette école, institution, cette institution for, not c'est, for secular education. ce n'est pas pour l'éducation séculière. The church is not charged to provide secular education. L'église n'est pas n'a Go pas été demandée and teach physics and teach English language and teach chemistry. Va and dans teach, le monde et enseigne l'anglais, um, la chimie, biology. Biology. And teach economics. Et aussi l'économie. Go ye into the world. Va dans le monde. But as the church has shifted off Alors que and become a social organization, you have people who attend church and are never born again. Il y a des gens qui vont à l'église, ils ne sont pas nés de nouveau. I used to go to church every Sunday. I never knew I, I should be born again. Moi, je fréquentais tout, tous les dimanches l'église. Je ne savais pas que je devais naître de nouveau. Because I was never told that parce, I needed to repent. Parce que on ne m'a jamais dit que je devais me repentir. I needed to bow my knees. Je devais to fléchir Jesus. le genou devant Jésus. I needed Jésus. to humble myself. M'humilier. And turn around 
down et me and come to God. Et I just thought that I was a Christian by osmosis. Je croyais que j'étais chrétien par osmose. But our students don't understand osmosis. Les étudiants en lettres, ils ne comprennent pas ce que c'est l'osmose. Il y a les étudiants en lettres qui ne savent pas ce que c'est. Il faut voir l'étudiant en sciences, qui ne savent pas ce que c'est. Il faut voir l'étudiant en sciences, le plus proche, il va expliquer. Il faut voir l'étudiant en sciences, le plus proche, il va expliquer. We are not ashamed of our aim. Nous ne nous n'avons pas honte de notre objectif. We are not ashamed of our aim. Nous n'avons pas honte de notre objectif. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Nous n'avons pas honte de l'évangile. Of Jesus Christ. De Jésus Christ. Yes. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Nous n'avons pas honte de l'évangile. Are you ashamed of your aim? Est-ce que toi Some pastors, some pastors look as though they are ashamed of their their principal goal Les and pastors, principal work, which is preaching the gospel, the pure gospel, and teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. On dirait que certains pasteurs ont honte But de leur objectif. But we are not ashamed of the gospel principal. of Jesus Christ Nous because pas it is the power of God and the salvation. De Dieu. So, everyone, donc tout le monde, when we when you see some of the characters there Quand vous allez voir certains you personnages, see that Ghana is today largely a Christian nation because the Basel mission le Ghana est une pays maintained the aim of preaching the gospel they, they got on a ship and came here Les missionnaires and de Basel died for what they believed they maintained the aim et ils sont morts pour ce en quoi of ils going croyaient. into the world ils ont and, maintenu today, l'objectif. and today Ghana is 70% at least Christian. Et au moins 70% du Ghana est chrétien. So this is a message to all of us. Donc c'est un message pour nous to tous. To be encouraged by our fathers. Nous sommes encouragés par nos pères. Those who gave birth to us. Ceux qui nous ont mis au monde dans l'église. Yes, the things they did. They, they maintained the aim. Ils ont maintenu l'objectif. Même si ça leur a coûté la vie. The aim of preaching be steadfast de prêcher unmovable soyez inébranlable always abounding toujours in the work of the lord travaillant as soon as i change my aim and i want to make money si je change I stop preaching the right things et je veux gagner de l'argent je vais arrêter de prêcher les bonnes choses yes. even a doctor if you change your aim of trying to help people you want to make money when somebody comes and doesn't need surgery, you will admit the person and say, oh, you know, you need to have a whatever. Because when we admit you for surgery, you stay for three days and four days. We sell our drips to you. We sell medicine to you. A simple, normal, they become a cesarean section. It's costing 1,000 CDs instead of 25 CDs. Même un médecin, si because le the aim has changed. The aim is now to make money, not to help people, to heal people. Même un médecin, si il change l'objectif, Il veut gagner de l'argent, il va tout faire pour avoir plus d'argent, pas de soigner les gens. Receive in your heart Reçois the grace of God dans votre cœur la grâce de maintain Dieu de maintenir your aim. votre objectif. I love that word steadfast. J'aime le mot it was a, it's a term from the Navy. Ferme, inébranlable. It means it's the ability to maintain your course Ça veut dire c'est la and the ability to come back to your course when you have shifted from your course. À maintenir it is a term invented, created by the Navy. C'est, c'est, yeah. c'est un mot créé par le, le, la, le mari. Just like how the la economists mari. are creating words just comme les économistes sont en train de créer des mots to explain their fancy pour, pour expliquer economics. leurs idées un peu yes so ladies and gentlemen Donc, receive the grace recevez la grace to maintain your aim pour maintenir Give votre a shout objectif hallelujah. criez alléluia à l'éternel and we are going to be praying for the Always praying for the nation, for the country. Prions toujours pour la nation, pour le pays. To be able to maintain the aim. Pour qu'ils ils maintiennent l'objectif. A nicer, more stable nation. De nous donner un pays Amen. beaucoup plus stable. Please take your seats. Prenez place. Give the Lord a mighty clap offering. Acclamez très fort. Ladies and gentlemen. Seigneur, messieurs, dames. How many are blessed with my short message? Combien sont bénis? Par le message court. Is this short enough? Est-ce que c'est assez court? 
No more, no more, no more, no more, no more, no more. Ladies and gentlemen, we are really honored this evening nous sommes ce soir to have in our midst parmi His Excellency, son Excellence, the President of the Republic of Ghana, de la du Ghana. Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, the President. Let's give him a very warm welcome to Anapazo Campus, the President of Ghana. The President of Ghana. Le président du Ghana. Please, please. Asofo, so much Bishop Doug Heward Mills and Reverend Adam Heward Mills. I like the expression distinguished men of the cloth. Not <laughs> ministers of state. My God, my God. <laughs> I have to begin by thanking the pastor, Bishop Hewitt Mills, very much for the privilege of coming here and being able to stand before you and say a few words. I'm really grateful. Every now and then I hear him preach, but tonight for the first time very much in the roar and I do understand so much of what he's doing. In the world. I want first of all to welcome all those who are coming to our country, especially those who are coming to our country for the first time. You are very, very, very welcome to Ghana. We Ghanaian people, we pride ourselves very much on our sense of hospitality. And I know that here you are enjoying the full Ghanaian hospitality. You're very, very welcome. Bishop, when he was talking, said that he doesn't preach, he doesn't teach secular education here, because that is not his aim. Our nation is a secular state. But I believe that the statement that Christ himself made, that you give unto Caesars what are Caesars, and you give unto God what are God's. I don't believe that that means, therefore, that if you're a Christian and you are at the same time Caesar, the two things are not possible. The two things are very possible. And I believe strongly that to be a politician and being a Christian are not contradictory. They are, in fact, part of the same thing. I am a Christian and I'm a politician. I'm a Christian politician. I don't have any difficulty about that.
And even though my duty is not to preach the gospel, but to try and improve the lives of the Ghanaian people, I believe the Christian values are very important to me in helping me do my work. I don't have any hesitation or about admitting that I am a Christian in politics. There's so many things that he said in his ministry on earth. But I think the one that always, always rings the biggest message for me, I am the resurrection and the life. He whosoever believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. And he asked her, Martha, do you believe this? He said, yes, Lord, I do. You are the Christ, the chosen one. Everything that we as Christians believe is in that statement. And that is what I'd like to leave you with. He whosoever liveth and believeth in me, even though he were dead, yet shall he live. Alors, je voudrais bien dire un petit mot. À tous nos amis qui sont, qui ont venu ici au Ghana pour assister à cette cérémonie. Vous êtes... Vous êtes très très bienvenue au pays frère, au pays africain qui vous accueille avec un, euh, un âme très ouverte et très accueillante. Et j'espère bien que votre séjour parmi nous, ce sera un séjour très chargé, un séjour aimable, un séjour d'amour pour le pays ghanéen et pour vous-même. Merci infiniment. Merci beaucoup et bonsoir. May God bless you all. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. S'il vous plaît, upstanding, pendant qu'on est debout, as His Excellency the President, pendant que le président sort, and the bishop, et l'évêque, leave the cathedral, quitte la cathédrale, and um, they will be followed by, et ils seront suivis, the invited guests, par les amis invités. Oh, come on, clap your hands for the Lord. Acclamez pour le Seigneur. We ask. Nous demandons. The Nananum to kindly. The Nananum will go with them as well. Les Nananum vont aussi aller avec eux. Special invited ministers. Les ministres invités aussi. Will go along with them. Vont aller aussi avec eux. Please let's follow that order. Let there be no movements at all. Qu'il n'y a pas de mouvement, s'il vous plaît. Suivant l'ordre. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Like it's been announced, the place cannot take all of us. Comme ça a été annoncé, l'endroit ne peut pas prendre nous we tous. We also ask the board members. Nous demandons aussi aux membres du conseil. Of Healing Jesus Crusade. De la campagne Jésus qui guérit. The guests. De se joindre aux invités. The board members. Les membres du conseil.
Be upstand. Let's keep standing. Let's Restons breathe. debout, s'il vous plaît. Breathe. Restons debout, s'il vous plaît. There's the board members can some of them he can go towards my right. Certains membres board, du conseil pourraient sortir. Board, healing Jesus board members, please. S'il vous plaît, seulement les membres du conseil. Board members only. Membres du conseil board seulement. Members only. Membres du conseil seulement. S'il vous plaît. Only board members. Seulement les membres du conseil. Then um, UD bishops. Les évêques de UD. The bishops of the United Denomination. Les évêques from the Lighthouse Group of Churches. De la dénomination, l'union des dénominations sous la bannière. That way. Lighthouse Chapel International n'a qu'à suivre. It's a specific group. C'est un groupe spécifique, s'il vous plaît. Now. After the, the, the selected group of people visit the museum, après que ce groupe sélectionné visite le, mu le while, musée pour un temps court, then when they depart, quand ils vont partir, then the rest of the groups also, maintenant le reste des groupes aussi, you would have your turn. Vous aurez votre tour. So if you're patient enough, donc si vous êtes assez patient, it will be your turn. Ce sera votre tour. In the meantime. Pour le moment, I advise you to keep praying. Je vous, continue, je vous conseille de continuer à prier. All right. Okay. Oh. So what we're going to do? Donc ce qu'on va faire. Please be seated. Asseyez-vous s'il vous plaît. Let's take this announce this um, others part. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. J'ai dit hallelujah. So the program is on. Donc le programme continue. Amen. Amen. Um, we are going to be hearing the word of God. Nous serons ici avec la parole de Dieu. It's a good place to clap your hands for the Lord. C'est un bon endroit pour acclamer pour le Seigneur. So that's where we are here. C'est pour cela que nous sommes ici. So we encourage you to stay and enjoy the engrafted word. Je, nous vous encourageons à rester et à écouter la parole gravée. Shall we welcome Bishop Edwin Ogo. Accueillons l'évêque Edwin Ogo. Let's put our hands together once again. Acclamons encore une fois. And for the few minutes we are waiting for our prophets to be back here to minister to us. Comme nous serons ici pour quelques minutes en attendant le prophète pour venir nous prêcher. I want to remind you that today is Friday. J'aimerais vous rappeler qu'aujourd'hui c'est vendredi. And I also want to remind you that we came here on Tuesday. Et j'aimerais vous rappeler que nous sommes venus ici le mardi. I mean the conference took off on Tuesday. La conférence a démarré le mardi. And for these past 3 days, Et pour ces trois jours, we have received great instructions and exhortations. Nous avons reçu de grandes instructions et des exhortations about wisdom. Sur la sagesse. That means that as you live here, cela veut dire que en quittant ici, as a missionary, en tant que missionnaire, as a pastor, en tant que pasteur, as a church worker, en tant que ouvrier de l'église, because of the three or four days, including today, à cause de ces trois ou quatre jours, y compris aujourd'hui, of impartations you have received, d'une communication que vous avez reçue, you are going to be wiser. Vous serez After here, plus sage après ici, than you were before you came here. Avant que vous êtes venu ici. Anybody who knew you to operate at a certain level, qui te connaît quand tu opérais à un certain niveau, will be surprised to discover that you are moving at a higher level of wisdom. Ils seront étonnés parce que tu vas opérer à un niveau de sagesse plus haute. 
Isaiah 11 2 Isaiah 11 2 tells us that wisdom is a spirit nous dit que la sagesse est un esprit and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him et l'esprit de l'éternel reposera sur lui the spirit of wisdom l'esprit de sagesse the spirit of wisdom l'esprit de sagesse say the spirit of wisdom Dites après moi l'esprit de it, sagesse. It means that wherever you are, ça veut dire que n'importe où tu te trouves. If somebody can catch an anointing, si quelqu'un peut attraper une onction, then you can also catch the anointing of wisdom. Toi aussi tu peux attraper l'onction de sagesse. So I declare, je déclare that the spirit of wisdom rests on you. Que l'esprit de sagesse repose sur vous. Please come and stand here and say it well to the francophone. Je déclare que l'esprit de sagesse repose sur vous. The, the spirit of wisdom is resting on you. Je dis l'esprit de sagesse repose sur vous. Every wisdom you need to be a minister. Toute sagesse dont vous avez besoin en tant que ministère is being given to you as a spirit. Dieu vous donne cette sagesse comme un esprit. You know, wisdom is different from knowledge. La sagesse est différente de la connaissance. We saw it in the definition. Nous avons vu ça dans la définition. That wisdom que la sagesse is your ability to practicalize the knowledge you have received in your unique context. C'est la capacité de rendre pratique la connaissance que vous avez reçue dans votre situation unique. As for knowledge, everybody has it. Sur le monde à la connaissance. As for knowledge, you can get it in a book. Quant à la connaissance, tu peux en avoir de un livre. All these books are sources of knowledge. Tous ces livres sont des sources de connaissances. Loyalty books. Les livres sur la loyauté. Anointing books. Les livres sur l'onction. Church growth books. Les livres sur la croissance de l'Église. But wisdom, mais la sagesse, cannot be obtained on a shelf. Ne peut pas être obtenu sur l'étagère. There is no bookshop that sells wisdom. Il n'y a pas de librairie qui vend la sagesse. Wisdom is a spirit. La sagesse est un esprit. And you can catch that spirit tonight. Et tu peux attraper cet esprit ce soir. As your weapon for ministry. Comme une arme pour ton ministère. What is wisdom? Quelle est la sagesse? Wisdom is your ability. Put it back, please. Il faut remettre la définition, s'il vous plaît. The ability to apply relevant knowledge in an insightful way la capacité de rendre pratique la connaissance especially to different situations surtout dans une situation unique so wherever you came from donc je sais pas d'où vous êtes venu it may not look like an akazo peut-être l'endroit ne ressemble pas à un akazo may not be ghana ton pays ne peut pas être ghana but when you go there mais si tu entres chez toi you will know what to do there tu vas savoir ce que tu dois faire i said when you go there je dis quand tu entres you will know how to plant churches there tu sauras comment when you go there tu you toi, will know how to build churches there tu sauras comment construire ton église. You know, when you travel to different countries quand tu voyages dans différents pays, you will discover that there are even evangelism tu vas rencontre même évangélisation. are you receiving wisdom yes. que vous la are you receiving the spirit yes. que vous Look, in Ghana, Au Ghana I can have a box je peux avoir un carton a big box un gros carton comme ça and stand on it je me tiens sur ce carton at a street corner dans un coin de la rue and preach et je prêche some singers can sing c'est un chantre peut chanter and i'll preach et je vais prêcher you can't do that in canada tu ne peux pas faire ça au canada you can't go to london or switzerland tu ne peux pas aller à londres ou en suisse and get a box chercher un carton and begin to just preach anywhere et tu commences à prêcher n'importe où so how we win souls in Ghana? La manière de gagner les âmes au Ghana. How we have crusades in Ghana? La manière de faire des croisades au Ghana. May be different from how you will have a crusade in Switzerland. Peut être différent de comment faire une croisade en Suisse. But no matter what the situation is. Mais peu importe la situation. You will be able to win souls there. Tu seras capable de gagner les âmes là-bas. Whatever the demands of your situation is. Peu importe ce que ta situation exige. You are receiving wisdom to know how to build a church. Vous recevez la sagesse sur comment construire l'église. Growing a church may be different in Niger. Faire croître une église peut être différent au Niger. But your church will grow. 
mais ton église va grandir. I said your church will grow. Je dis ton And église va grandir. Anybody here who is a pastor, quiconque ici qui est pasteur, is receiving wisdom to be very great. Recevez la sagesse Anybody pour devenir here who is a church worker, quiconque est un ouvrier de l'église, I'm staring up the wisdom we have received over the three days. Je And I'm declaring that a spirit is rushing where you are. A spirit of wisdom is coming to you there. No matter where you live. Whether you are in a city. Or a village. Or a town. You will have a big church. Whatever it takes to build a mega church, you are receiving it wherever you are. Whatever it takes to, to, to plant churches, whatever it takes to have a healing ministry, the spirit of wisdom is coming to you there. It's coming upon you there. It is coming upon you there. You are going to read books, but the spirit of wisdom will help you to know how to apply. Receive application knowledge. Receive the wisdom to make things happen. Look, please sit down. I want to declare some blessings up, upon your life. One wisdom book that I want to introduce to you for your leadership wisdom is what it means to be as wise as a serpent. The wisdom of the serpent, la, la sagesse des serpents, is becoming your wisdom for survival. Devient ta sagesse pour la survie. There is a very, very powerful chapter. Il y a un chapitre très puissant that I want to share from. Et j'aimerais partager de ce chapitre. Seven reasons. Les sept raisons. Why serpents are considered wise. Pour lesquelles les serpents sont considérés sages. Declare that people will consider you as a wise person. Les gens vont te considérer quelqu'un sage. When they are counting wise pastors, quand on compte les pasteurs sages, you will be counted as a wise pastor. Tu seras compté comme un pasteur sage. When they are counting great ministers, quand on compte les grands ministres, you are going to be counted also as a great minister. Tu seras compté comme un grand ministre. Now, number one. Numéro un. Number one. Numéro un. Every reason why a serpent is wise Chaque raison pour laquelle un serpent est sage becomes your reason tonight. Ça devient ta raison aussi ce soir. You didn't hear me. Tu n'as pas entendu bien. Every reason why a serpent is wise. Toute raison pour laquelle un serpent est sage also becomes your reason for being wise. Cela devient aussi ta raison d'être sage. So as I read it, donc alors que je lis, it is coming to you wherever you are. Tu seras en train de attraper cette sagesse. Number one. Numéro un. Ask your neighbor, are you ready for what the pastor is about to declare? Demande à ton voisin, est-ce que tu es prêt? Tu es prêt pour ce que le pasteur est sur le point de déclarer? Are you ready for this one? Est-ce que vous êtes prêt? I'm releasing seven blessings. Je suis en train de libérer sept bénédictions. There is a young man sitting here. Il y a un jeune homme assis ici. As I declare it, quand je déclare, it becomes a part of your life naturally. Ça deviendra une partie de ta vie naturellement. Clap your hands for Jesus. Acclamez pour Jésus. The good news I've just received. Je viens de recevoir une bonne nouvelle. Is that our prophet? Notre prophète wants everyone. Veut que chacun d'entre nous to come to that side. De venir là-bas. Is it a blessing? Est-ce que c'est une bénédiction? So let's rise to our feet. Restons debout. Don't rush. Faut pas être pressé. Just use every door. Il faut utiliser toutes les portes. But we are moving towards the car park. Mais nous sortons pour aller au parking. Towards the end there. Vers la fin. Make sure there is. Make sure you've taken every valuable. Assurez-vous de prendre tous vos vos biens. 
your phone, vos portables, your bag, everything, vos, vos sacs et autres choses, so that it is not stolen. Afin que personne ne vole. We are choses. going and we shall return soon. Nous serons de retour bientôt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, as we go, remember that the, the Makane and Makarios angels are still around. Souvenez-vous, les anges de Makane et Makarios sont toujours disponibles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
people. To every creature. Teaching them. Teaching. You cannot teach them unless you gather them. But we do not serve a dead God. We do not serve a God who is a doctrine. We serve a living God. God wants you to be significant. He wants you to do things that only you can do. He wants you to shine. He created you for His plan and His purpose. And His purpose will not change. serve a dead God. We do not serve a God who is a doctrine. We serve a living God. God wants you to be significant. He wants you to do things that only you can do. He wants you to shine. He created you for His plan and His purpose. And His purpose will not change. Stay open and we'll stay focused, carrying, Lord, the banner, carrying the torch, and that men and women who come into this place, their heart will be touched, and the spirit of Elijah, which rested upon Elisha, may the spirit that rested upon these men and women touch this generation, that they may go further, that they may go faster, and they may continue to do what you have purposed in their hearts to do. You sent your son all the way from heaven to us and you sent these men and women to a place called Ghana. Others may not have known where it was, but you knew where it was. And you saw these people and you knew that from this place something wonderful would spring up and not only touch this nation, but touch the world. And in the name of Jesus, in your mercy,
and in your grace release the flow that changes hearts and takes a hold of men and women that they will commit their lives to you to do service and will in the name of Jesus. You said you would build your church. Use us, Lord. It would be an honor. It would be a privilege. Use us to build your church. In Jesus' name we ask this. And we dedicate this place to you. Amen. 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 not serve a dead God. We do not serve a God who is a doctrine. We serve a living God. God wants you to be significant. He wants you to do things that only you can do. He wants you to shine. He created you for His plan and His purpose. And His purpose will not change.
preach the gospel to every creature. Teaching them, teaching. You cannot teach them unless you gather them. But we do not serve a dead God. We do not serve a God who is a doctrine. We serve a living God. God wants you to be significant. He wants you to do things that only you can do. He wants you to shine. He created you for His plan and His purpose. And His purpose will not change. The Give Thyself Holy Conference is a non-denominational conference for training pastors, church workers and equipping saints to do the work of the ministry. Thousands of pastors and church workers from all over the world gather for this conference to hear anointed ministers of the gospel share the practical ways of doing the work of the ministry. The Give Thyself Holy Conference is changing lives and ministries all over the world. Whenever I think of the Give Thyself Holy Conferences, I am thinking of great teachings and great impartations. As pastors come together, they're equipped, they're taught, they interact, they network, and out of there comes a group of strong ministers that rise up to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. I've been attending the Give Thyself Holy Conference since 2011. This is my sixth time here, and I tell you, it's pure inspiration. It is like an old vehicle coming to a garage for overhauling. The experience that I see what has happened to my life this year, and particularly to those that we have traveled with from Harvest House International, we have experienced a total overhaul when we were in Ice Ice Soweto for the first time, that was two years ago, we attended this year, last year, Bishop Saki brought a very prophetic word which had impacted our ministry amazingly. He basically said, all of you who are here for the first time, I prophesy that your church will expand in growth. It will double up, it will triple up. So I've received that word in my spirit and my husband and I and our two sons who attended this year, when we heard that word last year, we brought it back to the church. We received it with gladness, you know, and um, our lives, our ministry has never been the same again. The teachings on the anointing, the art of leadership, the art of ministry, the art of shepherding, the art of hearing, the art of following, church planting, church growth. The call of God, loyalty and disloyalty has helped many pastors to grow their ministries all over the world. I'm so blessed to be here today and this is my first time in Ghana and after I heard the message about the anointing, I, I can tell you that I got mostly all I was expected today. So the beautiful part of these meetings that we have, the Give Yourself Holy, the networking, we are like a family. We are like brothers, true brothers, there to work with each other and network and increase and enlarge each other's ministry. So those are one of the most powerful aspects that we are enjoying as ministers by being part of this uh, uh, networking. Coming here for me was attending a Bible college, a Bible college. I have, in Uganda, we have very many Bible colleges colleges, but the way they address issues is not how Bishop Doug addresses issues. 
the way he teaches is very practical, real life ministry. And I'm very excited. I just want to go back and begin implementing, implementing what I've learned here. It has really been a, a, a great experience. Um, I'm fully charged, my life has been changed, my mind has been transformed, I have a new view on ministry and, and planting a thousand micro churches is what I'm trusting God to do. It's mainly for pastors but as a member of the church I'm very encouraged and I'm very empowered to sit here and listen to the powerful men of God who are speaking words of wisdom, words that are rema from above. I'm so grateful, it's such an honor for me to be here. The Give Thyself Holy Conferences are challenging people to give their whole self and every part that they were keeping in reserve is now brought to the fore and the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ is going forward in power and in might. I give Thyself Holy uh, is a very practical conference. They conference that is Bible based and it's a conference that promotes the welfare of the church and the welfare of the minister and um, people come from different walks of life because there's something that God's servant Bishop Dag you miss carries that draws you to, close to him. The Give Thyself Holy Conference is held annually in Accra, Ghana but it is also held in other countries. The Give Thyself Holy Conference will make a difference in your life and ministry. Welcome to the campus of Anakazo Bible School, one of Ghana's prominent landmarks in the Aburi Mampong mountain range. Located in the eastern region of Ghana, the Aburi Mampong mountain range is unique for its peaceful villages nestled within a mountainous landscape. The hills provide a clear view of Accra during the day and a spectacular arena of sprawling greater Accra region in the night, hence a perfect destination for tourists and holiday makers. The eastern region is famous for being the first region to grow cocoa in Ghana. In 1879, Tete Kwashi brought the first cocoa seed from Fernando Po and planted it in the Aburi Mampong mountain range. Ghana is now the second leading producer of cocoa in the world. If you talk to anyone in the Aburi Mampong mountain range, the first thing they're likely to mention is Anakazo Bible School. With its unique modern architecture, ABS is a perfect combination of art, deco and contemporary design. Many potential students don't have the chance to travel and experience campus for themselves. If that is you, here is a quick tour of what to expect when attending Anakazo Bible School. The significance of ABS is not simply about buildings, rather it's a place dedicated to the training of men and women for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Training students who are striving for wholeness in spirit, mind and body. Students who are ready and willing to make a difference in their generation. 
Anakaza has a very young and active campus. Students from all over the world call this place their home. Anakaza students are very happy people. They are friendly, loving and caring. As a foreign student, I feel so much connected to the other students. I fit in perfectly. When they realize you have come from far, that is when they treat you even better because they know you have left a lot to be here. Being here is such a wonderful experience and I'm learning something new every single day. At an Akazo Bible School, we learn the Bible, biblical textbooks and Christian literature and we are so proud of it. APS is not only about obtaining intellectual knowledge about the Bible and ministry, but it's a holistic training to equip us for the work of the ministry. The environment here is beautiful. The architecture is awesome. The atmosphere is good for learning, praying, and meditation. Any school can give education on diverse topics, but Anakazo trains students and bring them up to be good ministers of the gospel. ABS is dedicated to Christian activities and is for the propagation of the gospel through the preaching of the word of God, the planting of churches and the teaching of the work of the ministry of Jesus Christ. Anakazo students have gone out and planted churches all over Ghana. Anakazo graduates have also planted churches all over the world. ABS is the sure place to be if you want to learn to do the work of the ministry. ABS is more than a school. It's beautiful and a life-changing experience that will guide your ministry forever. Attend ABS and experience it for yourself. <laughs>